So I promised I would share a haul. Um, I'm a day late, of course. Um, things just got a little away from me yesterday. So anyway, um, as I said in uh, that tutorial that I did on Saturday, um, AC Moore, uh, where I live, is uh, going out of business. I had never been in AC Moore before. It's not in the same county where I live. Not that it was that far to go to because it wasn't, but um, I spoke with a friend of mine who knew that I journaled and she said, you've got to get in there and check out what they've got. Stuff's really great prices. And that's about all it took. I was in my car um, and somehow I found myself in front of AC Moore. So anyway, um, most everything in the store was at least 40% off, but most was 60% off. So everything that I'm going to show you here was, in fact, 60% off. Um, the receipt is kind of convoluted, so I really can't tell you specifically. Um, there's certain prices I do remember, and I will share those as, as I go along. So, um, knowing my affinity for paper... Um, I found some paper pads. These paper pads were priced at $21.99, uh, the large 12 by 12s, and they are by DCWV. Um, they were 60% off, so I got them for $10 a piece. Um, so the first one, I have never seen this one, and I am going to be making something special for a friend, um, out of this paper. So, I will show you what it is. It's called Copper Blues. And I'll just do a quick flip through. Um, but it, the reason I liked it is it's copper. It's not gold. Um, not that there's anything wrong with gold, but the copper is just different. Um, and it really does set off the blue violets in here, as you'll see as we go along. like that. That is stunning. And that. And that. That paper is beautiful too. That. That's gorgeous. That, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really cool. And then you got some cut aparts. And then there's that one, which is beautiful. So I couldn't pass that up. I got that. Um, I don't typically buy single sheets of paper, but I looked at what they had. And these, I think, were priced at either $1.99 or $2.99 a sheet, which is expensive. Um, but I got them for $0.75 cents a sheet, I believe. So I got this one and this one. And I got this uh, palm frond one. I got four sheets of that. And then I saw this. And again, this is going to be for a special project for a friend. Um, but I won't be able to give it to her for a while. And of course, I didn't cut these. Jeez, I hate when I do that because they're so hard to flip through unless you take the sticky off. But these are beautiful. They're like real deep, rich jewel tones. Um, so I guess I'll be a little bit surprised with you because I was only able to do a little flip at the end so you don't get the full effect. There we go. Okay, so this one is also by DCWV called the Stardust Pack. Really pretty paper. That's gorgeous. Oh, hold on. I went a little fast. I didn't see the top. You may have. Oh, I like that, how it just hits one corner. That's really pretty. Like I said, I've never seen these paper pads before, so... And trust me, I look at paper pads a lot online to see new things. And I like
like to think that I kind of know most of the ones that are out, but this one, I, again, I've never seen. I think it's beautiful. Ah, that's gorgeous. So, and there, with all the constellations. Really cool. Um, so anyway, got that. And the only other paper pad I got was this one. And um, my friend Judy has this, um, but I had never seen it either. And it's just simply mostly like lined and grid paper and all different colors. So it's nice for kind of filler paper um, in your journal to use with your specialty papers. Um, I don't remember the price of this. I want to say it was like two or three dollars. It wasn't much at all. But, you know, nice places for journaling in a book. Okay, I'm trying to do this quick because my battery's going to run out and I got a lot of stuff. Um, so I got three of these. Uh, I don't even know what they are. They're just like scrap bundles. Um, but there's some really cool images in here. And I got these nominal, nominally priced. I think each of these were like a dollar and this one was... 50 cents or 75 cents, but I did open one up and there's just some really cool things in there. Um, so this one had a pound, this one had a pound, and this was a half a pound, I guess how they measured it out. Um, but kind of cool and I thought it would be fun to like slip some of these into Happy Meal or for swaps or something. So I got that. Um, their embossing folders were if you bought four which these were all 60% off, then you got two free. I'm up for that challenge, so I took it. Um, I got two of these because I'm giving one to a friend who likes to emboss things, but this is a stone uh, emboss pattern. And these are by uh, Love Nicole. Um, and then there's this one with a border. I know the layer is a little hard to see. This one is uh, cattails and different kind of plants. And there is just a tree. And this one was cool. It is actually a front door or a door. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to play with, especially like in a gothic journal. That's what I was thinking. Um, found the floor de lis Of course I did after I finished my medieval journal. That would have been nice to have in there, but I can still add some little bling to it. Um, I got a pack of the Tim Holtz Corners. Again, I don't remember the price of this, um, but it, you know, less, less than half price of what you would pay. Now these I do remember the price of, and you're going to kind of flip, because I saw this one and I thought, oh, gotta have it for steampunk. Um, but these were priced at originally $7.49, and I think each one of these rang up right right at $3 or a little bit less. So I got that one, which is uh, just the stencil, and this one is the stencil and stamps. So, yeah, got that. Um, I needed two two-inch punches. Well, I only needed one, let's be honest. But I saw the scalloped one, and it was cool. So each of these originally were $19.99, and I believe I paid like $7 for each one of these. And they're really heavy. Um, I got just uh, metallic paint markers. I got two Copic uh, pens or alcohol ink pens. One's in an olive green, and one is in violet, which are my two favorite colors, green and purple. Um, some glue sticks. This is permanent or extra strength uh, glue stick. And they didn't have any more of that or I would have got more of the bigger ones. That was the last one I got there. And then this is an embellishment glue stick that you can use on wood, fabric, tissue, paper, cardboard, photos, etc. Um, so I got two of those. And I gotta make room because I got more stuff. Um, I got two of these packs, and I've never seen these kind of clips, but I thought they'd be really cool at the on the spine of a journal to hang a tassel. Um, 
And honestly, if you guys know what kind of clips these are, let me know. But they're really cool. Um, I don't know if they're just like hinge clips, pinch clips, alligator. I don't know what they call them. But I got two packs and they were super cheap too. Uh, I want to say like a dollar twenty-five for each one of those. I picked up four different types of gold ribbon. Um, I use metallic ribbon a lot and I honestly really do want to start my Egyptian journal soon for me. Um, and then I am making a custom order journal now for somebody ordered it for their eight-year-old daughter. And her favorite colors are pink and purple, which uh, even when I was a child wasn't my favorites, but these are pretty with the little sparkles in them. So I'm about done with that journal, thank goodness. Um, okay, so then you, s anybody, uh, if you didn't see it, Judy P's Crafty Journey, she's got a video where she showed a Dollar General haul and showed storage boxes, which I have plenty of these storage boxes. However, at half price, I went and I got three because I have a cart and I load my cart up and I go craft in the living room so that I can watch TV. Um, unless I'm doing painting and I'm right here at the table. But these are nice um, when I start to put stuff over on the end table next to me instead of back in the cart. So the things that I'm using a lot of outside of the cart, I can kind of keep in here and it looks nice and neat and contained. And uh, this one was half price. I got it for a dollar. Um, I got this one. It didn't have anything on it other than, you know, obviously the flowers. It's a pretty big one. It was $8, so I got it for 4 And then I got a big old Mac Daddy one over here. Um, and this one is huge. Uh, I don't even have the camera up enough. But it says be your own kind of beautiful. It was the only one that I thought wasn't really sickening that they had left. Um, and... It is huge, so that'll be nice for putting paper and stuff in, anything that's larger. So that's what I got there. Then, after I left Dollar General, there's a thrift store right next to it, and I hadn't been in there in a while, and I'm glad I went in. I happen to know the guy, and I'm going to just lay everything out that I found, and then tell you what I paid for it. Because... <laughs> He made me a really good deal on all of this. That one's got to be glued back on, but that's no big deal. Um, okay, so all of this. I saw this, I, I dug in a basket, and I'm like, okay. Everybody, I think most people know that I absolutely love anything Egyptian. I have an Egyptian altar in my room, and yes. I love Egyptian. I love Egyptian. We'll put it that way. But I saw this, um, and I I don't know where, I can't tell by this where it was bought, but it, the original price had been $7.95. There are no pages missing in it. It's brand new. Um, so it kind of looks like parchment paper. And he didn't tell me the prices of everything. He just gave me a, a ballpark on everything, and I went, sold. So I picked this up for me. I thought that would be nice to have in my purse. Um, there were these stationary envelopes that I thought were kind of cool. Um, they're just plain white on one side, but that on the other, and I thought that would be nice for, you know, put a couple of those in for a happy mail or do something with them in a journal. I don't know. So then I looked through. He had a whole bucket full of stamps and wood stamps. So I searched through, and I found this one. Sun, moon, and stars. This one with the daffodils in the pot. This one with the leaf. This one with, uh, oh, this is a Stampin' Up one, too. Uh, this is a dragonfly. And then this one is the one that I've got to glue back on. You see how big it is. But this one is, I guess, well, ah. So it's half sun, half moon. Um, I just thought it was really cool. So for all of this, 
and as a last minute thing going in, he said, uh, how about two dollars? <laughs> and I said, okay. So, anyway, that is my haul, guys. Um, and I will talk to you again when I have another journal or something to share. Everyone take care. Bye.